Hi y'all, it's a fun from TechCycle. In this video, I'm going to share you guys a solution to fix WSL2 can't access the file, so it can't run the Linux that we installed using WSL2. The reason for this issue is that the VHDX file or the disk image file which store all the WSL data is mounted to our system or our windows and the simple solution is to unmount this VHDX file we can either reboot our system to fix this issue but it's a little bit wasting time wasting method as reboot so on your PC open command prompt in admin power after that type the command disk part then type the command list v disk and it will show all the virtual disk that you mounted on your PC and in that list you can see the WSL2 VHDX file so to unmount this virtual hard disk or VHDX file type the command select vdisk file equals the location name like the one mentioned in the screen and the command will be available in the description so you can copy and paste that the file location is the file location of the VHDX file or the WSL2 virtual hard disk file after that type the command detach VDisk and it will unmount the virtual hard disk or the VHDX file of this WSL2 and we can successfully run the WSL2 without facing any issue so that's it that's all about this simple fix guys simple way to fix the WSL2 can't access the file system so I hope you guys find this video useful if you do so hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe